Hey everybody, my name is Oliver, and I'm here to play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I am in such a good mood today. Today's Friday, and my vacation just started. I just bought a Switch, and I just bought this game. I bought a capture card, I hooked it up to the PC, and I'm fucking ready to play this game. <laughs> it's probably one of the last games you may have expected to see on this channel, but... While a lot of you have suggested other games, too, that I should play, I will get to those in the future. But right now, this is a game that I've always wanted to play, ever since it came out, and I've just been so bummed about not having a Switch. Um, but thanks to all of you guys, thanks to all of your donations and for the people who join me on Patreon, and just for people watching, liking, uh, sharing those videos, you know, leaving comments, all of that matters, and... Thanks to you guys, I've been able to afford this Switch. And now I've got it. So this is one of those few times where I can say that if you want to see more content like this in the future, consider supporting me. Because this is the exact thing that's going to happen. I'm going to use that support to buy new games and play them for you. Like a little, uh, like a little monkey in the zoo, you know, I'm going to perform for you. Dance for me, monkey. Yeah. Of course... As always, I do play these games first and foremost for myself, so please do not spoil anything in the comments. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna take my, I come, I'm gonna take my time with this game. I understand it's a big game, uh, so yeah, I think there's a lot to unpack here, and I'm excited. So I don't know what else to say. Um, I don't have the, uh, I don't have that pro controller thing, but what I have is this little uh, adapter, where I take the, uh, so this, I don't know, the Joy Cons. I connect them to a little controller, which is kind of rectangular looking. It doesn't feel amazing, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, um, other than that, what can I say? I, I don't know anything about Zelda. I've never played a Zelda game in my life. Not even uh, Ocarina of Time, which I know everybody loves. Uh, maybe I'll do that in the future. But as far as I understand, uh, the lore of these games do not connect directly. So it doesn't matter if I don't play them in the right order or something. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Um, but I'm excited. And here we go. Yes. Okay. I haven't clicked on this yet. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link.
All right, here we are. So I do know that Link is the main protagonist in the Zelda games. Okay. Con hold on, I need to look at my controller. I can look here. No. Uh. Oh, wait, I go back with B. That's such a weird layout, man. Uh. Okay. I can move camera like that. Examine. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Huh. A Sheikah Slate. A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet, there's something familiar about it. Yeah, it's the all-seeing eye. I like the little sounds. Man, what an intro. No music, just some voice talking to me and just ambience. So hold on, let me explore this. Oh my god, the camera is painfully slow. Can I can I adjust that? Uh wait. Uh wait. Nope. Oh, I see. System. Uh down. I feel really dumb with these controls right now. They it seems like they have reversed the usual back button to be uh Well, actually the B button is in the bottom. I think you know what I mean. Um Oh, thank god. Wait, there's not a slider? Okay. Aim with motion controls? Change jump button. Hot mode? Okay. Nope. Back. Oh, that's way better. Oh yeah, there we go. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if, it, if I could make it go a little faster still. Um. Why was I in here sleeping though? And it seems I was woken up now, of all times. Huh. Well-worn trousers. These old trousers are threadbare in spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short, though. Okay. Open inventory. Got it. And the plus button. Whoops. Uh, right. I have to... Man, I, I have to get used to this. Equip. Cool. I've got trousers. That's a good start. An old shirt. A thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side. Oh, I actually see it. Um, it upgrades my armor from one to two. Nope. I'm gonna keep doing that. Uh, and then B. Okay. Oh! Oh, I can push these. Look! Oh, I can pick that up. Throw. R. Cool. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed with this, somehow. I don't know why, it's... I... okay. I can do things. Hold on, can I destroy these boxes, I wonder? I don't seem to have... To have some kind... oh, I can jump on that button. I can run. I don't seem to have a uh, an, an attack button. Oh, what's that? I'm just pressing all the buttons right now. He's like che checking for something and there's nothing there. Okay, let's go this way. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Okay. 
But who are you and how are you talking to me? Authenticating. Chica Slate confirmed. Shine upon High Rule once again. Now go. High Rule. Um. Climb. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <gasps> wow, what a view. Look at the volcano. Oh, that's a cool shot. Great Plateau. What a cool little fucking shot there. What a cool s title sequence. Not too much music, you know, just a sprinkle of piano and then, ooh. Wow, this game is actually quite beautiful. Running on pretty old hardware at this point. I mean, I am feeling the 30 FPS right now, which is a little jarring. I have to get used to that. But man, it does look pretty. That volcano, though. What the hell? And look at that over there. That looks interesting. Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited, man. Dude, I'm in such a good mood, you know? It's summer, like, in real life. Hold on. Tree branch. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well-balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Okay. Use weapon. Attack with equipped weapon. Okay, I see. Got it. Cool, I have a branch. I like that. Anyway, what I was about to say... I, uh, I'm in such a good mood. Because, like, I don't have to think about work right now for the foreseeable future. And all I can do is play this game now. You know, I'm back to being single. I'm soon gonna move into my new place. I have all the time in the world to uh, to get into this. And I'm just excited. I've got snacks. I've got Cokes. I've got all of it ready. Oh, look at that. There's a bug over there. Flies away. Hylian Shroom. A common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. Oh, right, okay. Can I get up there? Oh, I can. He automatically jumps. Huh. Okay, so obviously I have to go down there to that guy who's sitting there. But I kind of just want to... Ooh, look at these squirrels over here. I'm going to kill them. Okay, no way. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Okay. Uh, it's a little the the little the minus button is a little awkward because when I try to hit it, I accidentally move my thumbstick there. Okay, so we've got a map of sorts. Plus fifteen degrees Celsius. Why does it say that? Oh. Cool. Looks huge. 
Uh, I kind of like the idea that there's no, like, landmarks on the map. You have to figure out the world on your own, it seems. So I have to go here. Follow the Sheikah Slate. Nope. I wanted to go back. Uh, hold on. I can also go like this. The Sheikah Slate data has been damaged. Okay. You do not have the required item, so you cannot use this now. Okay, I don't even know what that is. Whoops. I actually wanted to click the other button. Uh, but that's fine. So, like, whenever I try to press the minus button, I accidentally hit the thumbstick on the left. I have to sort of, like, angle my hand. It's a little awkward. Hylian Shroom. What's that? Oh, it's another branch. You can switch weapons quickly. Hold that one and... Okay. Okay. So I have two of these now. Wait, are they different? No. They're the same. Um, it's kind of crazy how I can just climb on these rocks like that. I'm gonna take all the shrooms. We're gonna have a party later. Can I climb these trees, I wonder? Yep. He automatically jumps up too, which is interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Dude, this is cool as hell. I've never seen this before. It feels like I can sort of climb anywhere here. Look at the nice birds in the background. Oh man, what a view from up here. Oh, you know what this reminds me of now? Reminds me of uh, Super Mario 64. On the Nintendo 64. The way you uh, go to the top of the tree and then you can sort of... I wonder if I can angle my jump from here. Jump on X. Okay, hold on, let me look. It's so confusing. I've never used a controller where the X is on the top, Y is on the left. Like, what is this? Okay, so I can actually angle. Nice. So let's angle this way and jump. Huh. No fall damage. Alright, let's go say hi to the- Oh, there's the thing again. Okay, it's gone. Let's go say hi to, to that guy down there. I'm trying to understand here. So I've been sleeping in this tomb. It seems. In some kind of... Uh, well, in some kind of uh, cryo device almost, you know, like you would go on a long cryo sleep during interstellar travel. And I was woken up by this weird voice in my head, presumably. And it seems I have the necessary means to exit the tomb too. I have this slate, which is almost like in a, some kind of pass card. Hey man. Talk. Okay, no voice acting. Old man. Oh ho ho! Well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Hmm. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright eyed young man like you to a place like this? I can't answer. Where are we? Answering a question with a question. That's fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Okay. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. 
man, I feel like I've been encountering a lot of ruins in video games lately. <laughs> Pretty much every game I've played, there's been some kind of destitute, uh, you know, kingdom that has fallen to ruin. It's it's just funny, I guess. Um, okay. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Okay, old man. I will. Um, all right. I'm kind of... Mm, I don't know much about Zelda at all, so... I hope they're gonna teach me uh, basics. So this is uh, Hyrule. Kingdom of Hyrule. That looks like a castle. Is that the capital of Hyrule? So they were conducting sacred ceremonies in that church. Hundred years ago. Oddly specific number two, you know? Baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. I beg your pardon? I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> oh, ho! forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. Really? That sounds nasty. How do I do it? How do I eat it? Uh, select. Eat. You cannot recover any more hearts. Okay, let's not eat it. Nope. The other way. That way. Uh, do you have anything else to say? Hmm. Yes? What are you doing? Hmm. I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course. Although I'll need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw. But roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. I doubt the last part. Wouldn't you remove a bunch of nutrition by flaming it? You know what I love about this game so far? It's quiet. It doesn't bombard me with music. It's sort of just ambience. It's a cool vibe. I'm liking it. Um, what happens if I go in here? Nothing. Uh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, I'm on fire. Uh, okay, I'm fine. I lost a heart. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What's that? Torch. This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. No shit. Huh? Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how may I ask are you planning to use it? It's a secret. <laughs> uh, I, I want to use it to light my way. So I guess I don't want to say any of these other things. It's a secret. I see. Well then, do as you please. There are plenty of monsters ahead of here, though. Remember that you can use that as a weapon if need be. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Effective for tar lock on. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Um, do you have anything else to say? No. Okay, bye. Do you not have somewhere else to be, young one? So I'm a young... Am I a, am I a child? I kind of look like a child. I don't... I don't know. I don't know if... So maybe this is a prequel. I don't know. I don't know if Link's supposed to be a child. Man, I'm having fun so far. So I've been eyeing these apples. Oh, take. A common fruit found on trees all around Hyrule. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. Okay. There's also one up there. Dude, it's so cool the way I can just climb on these trees. How do I get that? Can I climb on the branch? Whoops. Can I grab it from here? 
Yeah, there we go. Cool. I've got some apples now. Can I cook it? Um, nope. Wrong button. Eat. Hold. Can hold one out of five. Add. What? Oh! Wait, what does it mean for? Oh, okay, I see. N near. Oh, wait, I can adjust it? Wait, am I throwing them then? Hold on, let me try this. Drop. Oop, ah, wrong button. I keep thinking A is the one on the bottom, because that's what every other goddamn controller in the world... Uh, or, or that's how they work, um, so hold on. Nope. Oh god, I'm gonna get used to this, I swear. Uh, add, so A. There. Back. Now. Far. On the fire. Ah. Controls are finicky. Okay, um, and then I go A. <laughs> okay. Baked apple. This is kind of a janky system, isn't it? In a way. Not in a bad way, it's just sort of weird and finicky. Do you not have somewhere else to be? Yeah, 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 okay. Um, I, I was trying to give him a baked apple because I took his and he was like, I need to find another baked apple. So uh, how about I throw an apple in his face? Wait, where's my... Oh, okay. Oh! Hold on. Wait, what's this? Adventure log. Okay, I'm gonna look at that in a second. Hold on, I just want to figure out this UI here. Direct heat. So, this is food. Materials. Oh, okay, so I've got raw materials, and if I cook it, it goes here. Makes sense. So let me see if I can hold this. I can't. That's interesting. So I can't give this guy a baked apple. But I can eat it. I don't have full HP, so... Nice. This gives half a heart. Ooh, can I cook the, sh the shrooms? Hold on. Let me just do one. Far. Uh, A. <laughs> oh yeah, look! Toasty, Hylian Shroom, or Hylian. I don't know how to say that. I think I've been saying Hylian. A Hylian Shroom toasted to perfection. The taste and fragrance are amplified, restoring more health to its consumer. Cool. Man, that's awesome. And this gives three quarters of a heart, just like the apple. That's awesome. So hold on, I also got a torch. Key, oh, key items, hold on. Okay, I've read that. There's something mis something familiar about it. Oh, you know what? What if I lost my memory? Obviously, I was in that tomb, right? And it seems like the whole purpose for that slate was to be given to me when I uh, would wake up at some point in the future, right? Otherwise, why would it be there? So maybe... Maybe I have used this slate before, before I went down under, and I sort of lost my memory. I don't know how long I was sleeping though, but yeah, that's my theory so far. Okay, um, I know I'm going very slow here. I'm just taking it all in. I love the sounds of the ambience. Okay, uh, I wanted to check out my torch. Armor, weapons. Torch. Now, can I light this somehow? I could... I could drop it on the fire? Or maybe I'll just equip it and there's an option to do it? Talk? No? Oh! <laughs> That's so fucking cool! Oh wow! 
I don't know why I'm so mind blown by this. It's... Hold on, can I set things on fire? How do I... Uh... No, I wanted to hit it. Oh, look! Oh my god! I can actually set things on fire. Uh, how do I stop the fire? I need water. No, it stops. Okay, okay. What? That's cool. Can I set fire to this? <laughs> I'm a pyromaniac. I'm gonna burn it all. <laughs> oh man, the frame rate. Oh, there's a hit in that department. Nope. Okay, I just want to burn this bush. And that ah, okay. Oh shit, I'm dying from this. I need to be careful. Uh, I need to eat. Uh, let's, let's, uh, go here, eat that, and eat that. Nice. Wait, is, is this simulating updraft? Warm air? That's cool. What if I set fire to this guy? I don't want to do it. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I, I, it was a mistake. Yes? Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that, buddy. I was just testing, okay? I was just testing. Oh, easy there. Okay. Well, so this stays lit, it seems, forever, I guess. Or maybe it will run out. Oh my god, I'm getting frame drops here. Imagine the game is 30 FPS and I'm still getting frame drops. That's kind of insane. Oh, <gasps> a lizard! What was that? Climb down? No. Yo, can I climb in any direction? Look at this! This is insane! I haven't seen that in any video game ever. Can I climb on anything? What about this? Oh my god! I can I this is like bouldering! Insane. Okay, granted, I I haven't played any. Uh... Like, what the fuck is this? I'm like a spider. Okay, that was too much. So there is a limit to the verticality there. Yo, that's cool. Okay, so I haven't actually played any Assassin's Creed games ever. So maybe maybe they had that climbing thing done. I know it's a climbing game, or like a parkour game and stuff. But I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this type of uh, gameplay before. That's insane to me right now. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Check this out. Okay, I'm gonna light this. I'm gonna light this one now. Oh my god, <laughs> it works! That's so cool. Uh, oh, I'm getting frame drops. Woodcutter's axe. A woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing make it a slow, inefficient weapon. Okay. In fact, we've got more apples here. That I kind of... Can I set fire to the apples? I can. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and it becomes a baked apple. That's fucking great. Oh my god. Probably all of you are like face palming throughout all of this. Like, this dude has never played a video game before or something, but this is kind of blowing my mind. Um, can I set fire to the tree? Like, can I just burn the tree? Oh, I can move while I have it like this, look. Man, this old man must think I'm a crazy guy setting fire to everything. You know, don't trust this guy with a torch. <laughs> uh, so hold on. Uh, weapons. Woodcutter's axe. Nope! Damn it! Equip. Oh, cool. Okay, let's try this. Oh my god! <laughs> it actually works and the apple falls off! Yo, the physics! Can I cut that one? No. Okay. Or maybe, hold on. Oh my lord. 
Wood. A portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Oh my god, I bet there's fishing in this game. I love fishing in games. I don't know why. Oh man, I can't wait for that. If you can do all of this, there's gotta be a way to fish. Look at that, I can cut the grass! Can I cut any tree? Surely not. Oh my god. Oh, what's that? That's an acorn. Often found on the ground near trees. Squirrels adore this nut. So you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. <laughs> okay. I cannot cut this tree though, right? No. Okay, I was about to say that would be insane. What if I cut a rock? Oh, it actually is like, there's a spark. Look at that. Hold on. I have a crazy idea now. Can I set fire to the... Like, imagine if I could hit this with the axe, it would create a spark and set, set this aflame. <laughs> that would be so fucking cool. Obviously, I have to go to the church at some point. Explore that. There's this weird looking, very unnatural circle, circular pattern of whatever. Those are fish. Yo, there, those are fish. Oh man. Man, this game is, is exactly what I needed right now. I need something relaxing where I don't have to think too much, you know? I just need something like this right now. So I wonder if I die if I go in this water. No, okay, I can swim. So I'm guessing this bar is my stamina that's been draining. Damn it, it's going away. Okay, let me go up here. I wonder what happens if I don't have any stamina I'm in the water. So what's going on with this circle? Like, this is very odd looking, isn't it? Can I dive? Uh, I think so? Wait. No, that's... Wait, what is he doing? Hold on, let me just get some stamina. Let me try the other buttons. Okay, I don't think I can dive. It does look like there's something down there, though. Yo. That's a fucking rock with a sword in it. What? Am I gonna be strong enough to pull it out? Oh, man. The, the, the climbing is blowing my mind. It really is. Rusty broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. Can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. Throw weapon? You can throw the weapon in your hand. Aim, hold, throw, release. Hold on, how, was, how did I change weapons quickly again? That was a better way, I remember that. This one. Ah, okay. Oh, I just released. Okay, okay, fine. Um. So wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come here. Oh, thank God. Okay. I can throw my swords. Okay. Yo, now I have a crazy uh, thing I want to try. I want to try and throw my, uh, my woodcutter axe at a tree and see if it makes a dent. <laughs> That's fucking great. Hold on, what if I hit a fish with a, with a throw? Is that a fish down there? It's hard for me to tell. No, it was just a reflection. That looks odd. 
This looks out of place almost. Look, look at the rock. I can climb on that too. Holy shit. And I can go in any direction. Look, I can go left. And up. Oh. Temple of Time. Music, man. So minimalistic. Wait, how do I jump again? There we go. Oh, man. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Um, hold on. Okay, let me go back to where I started real quick. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I wanted to try this one thing. Woodcutter's axe. So what if I... Okay. It's like very uneven when I'm... It's like jittery, almost. Like, look. That's so weird. Oh, wait, I think... Oh, it's the motion control. I'm moving the control. I okay. I see now. I get it. I was like, why is it so so uh, jittery? So I'm not actually moving the thumbstick now. I'm just moving the thing. Hold on. Oh, okay. Let me try on a smaller tree. This has to work. Maybe I do it on this tree up here. That's a small tree. Now, oh, can I set fire to my axe? Can I make it flaming hot? So I can cut through butter? No, okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. I may need to be closer. Nah, it doesn't work. But I can definitely cut down this tree, right? Oh my god, the physics. Look at this shit. It's blowing my mind. And I get wood. Hold on, what can I do with wood? A portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. How do I make a campfire? Hold on, I want to do that. Hold. Back. No. Wait, how do I do that? Eat. Let me eat the wood. Maybe I need more than one. Maybe three. Far. Close. Uh, drop. No. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well. Alrighty then. What if I throw this in the fire? Oh my god, it's catching fire. What happens if it burns? For a long time. Nothing? Oh! <laughs> oh my god, look at this. This is blowing my mind right now. I'm making a makeshift torch. I don't know why that's so crazy to me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, we've got enemy. Uh. Ah! Ah! Your tree branch is badly damaged. Dude, I set this guy on fire. Bokoblin horn. The severed horn of a bokoblin. A creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible. But it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Yo, that's alchemy? Bokoblin Fang. A tooth obtained from a bokoblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. I've got another tree branch. Yo, that's so cool the way I set that guy on fire. We got more shrooms. How long is this gonna burn for? I guess it's gonna last. Uh, oh my god, the frame drops. I guess it's gonna last forever. J 
Just like, uh, just like the to Ooh. What are you? Are you an enemy? I think you're an enemy. Bam. Oh. Red choo-choo jelly. A jiggly substance that normally comes from a fire choo-choo. It consistently gives off heat. If struck, it will explode in a ball of flame. No. Really? <sighs> okay. Some kind of elemental thing. Um, let me put it... I have an idea. Let me put it here. Oh no, it's gonna roll. Shit. Shit. Uh, let me do it here. I know I'm going very slow in this game, but I'm having fun, man. Okay, here we go. Oh! Oh, shit! It wasn't joking. It's like a fireball. Oh, I wonder if I can throw it like a fireball. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Yo, that's cool. I need to eat. Nope. There. Eat that and eat that. I need to cook some more apples. I really need to do that. There's a little fountain there. And look at the view. Like, the game doesn't have, like, high texture quality or resolution or any of those things, but it still manages to be insanely beautiful. You know, it has a very stylistic um, way about it. <laughs> I can't speak. Okay, there's another guy up there. I'm gonna go kick his ass. I'm gonna set fire to him. Hold on, there was a way to log on. Oh shit! Your tree branch broke. Uh, ah! How do I run? Run! Oh, how long is he gonna? F oh shit! I have no stamina. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Jump! Huh. Oh yeah, get kited. Come here. I'm gonna. This is a classic from World of Warcraft. Check it out. I'm gonna do this. Huh. Oh sh no! What? Never mind. He's just gonna jump up. Okay. No, he's gonna rock all around. Okay, hold on. I need to equip a weapon. And let me use the sword, I guess. Come here, buddy. Hey! Oh. oh. Shit. What are you, man? Oh. Boko club. A crude bow cobbling club made to clobber small prey. It's essentially a stick, so its durability is low. I don't know how to say it. Bokoblin? Bokoblin? I'm just gonna call them Bokoblin. Or Bokoblin. Whatever. I'm probably gonna use both. Okay, let me explore this little area here. Before I go up there. Pick up. Why are they here, I wonder? Can I do something with them? What if I drop them from a high point? Everything is in ruins. What the hell happened here? So I want to try and throw this on an enemy if there are any more. Probably going to be more enemies up there. Hold on. Before I go further, I just want to see. There's got to be something in here. Or maybe not. I mean, honestly, I would kind of like it if there wasn't anything in here. Like, you don't have to put something everywhere, you know? That just makes the game feel like a theme park. I like this. You get a nice view in here. It's a beautiful little area. Oh! That was actually not my intention, but that's cool. I can just cut down those flowers. Okay, you come with me. 
And what the hell is that? What is that? Looks like a bell or something. Oh, maybe it's a bell that fell from the tower. Yeah, look, there's a hole in the window. No, wait, this is this is not a bell. I don't know what the hell this is. Doesn't it look like a bell a little bit? As if someone ripped the bell out of the bell tower and it fell down here somehow. Oh, there's a chest over there. Oh, here we go. Okay. Can I... I want to see if I can lock on. There's more than one. Are we Dark Soulsing here? Are we fucking me? Okay, we're good. Oh, yeah, look. Buddy. Look what I got. Hey! <laughs> that actually worked. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The frame drops are real. I'm going to take that Boko Club and Bokoblin Horn. And I'm going to open your treasure chest. Hylian trousers. Traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. The plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable, and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. Yeah, it's like way better than what I have. Not. Oh, we've got boots now, too. Wait, did we have that before? I guess so, but shitty boots. Now we have proper boots. Cool. All right. Hold on, what if I set fire to the barrels? They're made of wood. How do I make a fire here? Do we have fire anywhere nearby? Oh, I would have to go all the way up there again. Okay, I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna make a mental note. Try and set fire to the barrels. I mean, they're probably just gonna burn. Okay. Like, what the hell happened here? This looks like an explosion happened. This whole thing is completely ruined. Let me take this with me. You come with me. I need a beer cake for the party. Can I jump while I can? That's amazing. Temple of Time. Oh my god, look at that fucking thing. Oh shit, we're about to have a boss. Get away from me. Hey, what the hell? Okay, I take it back. These are not bells. Looks like that guy from Spider-Man. I forget his name. The tentacle arms. Search? Ancient screw. A screw used in ancient machinery. It's made of an unknown material. And no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show signs of wear. Damn! That's a... That's a nice screw indeed. Wait, where did I find that? I'm so confused by that. Search? Weird. I kind of want to try and set fire to these things. Oh my god, look how many there are. There are more up there. Okay, crazy thing. Can I climb this? Holy sh... Like, how is this even possible? Link is like some sort of superhuman spider. My god, that's such a cool... Way... Oh man, look at all... Imagine all the secrets you can hide with this mechanic. Can I climb all the way up there? Hold on, I have to try that. Oh my god, look at this. I can jump. Oh. Cool. Oh my god, look at this. I could make my way up here like that. There's another enemy over there. Whee. Now, do I jump further when I run first is the question. Because can I make this jump? 
mean, otherwise, I guess I'll just go around. Or climb up, actually. Okay, here we go. Hey! Oh, that was close. Oh, shit, here we go. Buddy. Can I dodge somehow? Uh... I can jump? Whoa! Wait, what? Jump! Jump out of the way of- Oh, I didn't read it! Any attack that causes your weapon to become a critical hit dealing- Wait, what? I don't know what I just did. I did something. Wait, what happened to my sword? It broke? I guess it was rusty and old. What is this thing I have on my back? The hell is that? It's like a belt. Look at that. Weird. Okay, let me go in here. Obviously something's gonna happen in here. Temple of Time. A pot. <laughs> nice. That's satisfying. I'm gonna break them all. <laughs> I'm easy to please. I get that. Oh! Arrows! A bundle of five common arrows. The shafts of these arrows were carved from the wood of a sturdy tree. Awesome. A traveler's bow. A small bow used by travelers for protection. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can be used to attack foes from a distance. Attack with bow. Equip a bow to attack enemies from afar. Draw bow, release. Okay. Oh man, I love this. I love it. Um, oh yeah, I get it. Motion control. Oh, this is gonna be insane. How do I stop uh, drawing? No. Uh, okay, that works. Cool. What is this up here? Pray. So I don't know if boss fights are a thing in Zelda. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Goddess. Okay. What does that mean? I like being smiled upon. Hmm. I wonder. So it seems like there is a type of religion in this world. Well, obviously they have a church, right? And there's a goddess? Goddess of time, maybe? Temple of time? Is she the goddess of time? Goddess of decay? Goddess of entropy? I can search these. Ancient gear. A gear used in ancient machinery. Man, that looks cool. Despite being incredibly old, its build quality is leaps and bounds above anything built using current technology. Okay, crazy theory. We're in the Temple of Time. There's a goddess of time, presumably. This hints at time travel. I don't know if it sounds science fiction-y, but I always thought Zelda was like a Middle, uh, middle Ages type deal with some magic or something. But like, this sounds like... These are like ancient machines or something. Okay, here's my theory. These ancient machines are actually from the future. But they traveled back in time to here somehow and they died? Like, I don't know what's going on here. 
Can I search every one of them? Ancient spring. A spring used in ancient machinery. It is light and buoyant enough to float on water, and no matter how many times it's compressed, it never loses tension. That's not true, though. That would violate the law of energy conservation. It will have to wear out at some point. Well, actually, not quite that law. It's just more like uh, the strength of the material is gonna dissipate over time, right? I don't know. I'm just sh shitting words out of my ass right now. Um, I keep. I can climb on anything, so definitely something up there. Look. Can I also climb inside? Oh my god. And I can even go... Oh, wow. This is actually really well done. The way the animation is linked here. <laughs> no pun intended. Wow. I can even climb on this little pillar. Uh, let go. B. Cool. All right. And go further up. Let's check it out. Oh, can I do this though? That looks a little sketchy. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so cool. Um... Okay, there's nothing here, it seems. Okay. Guess I'll go back down. We're fine. Like, look at this. I can I can basically do this. Shit. I wanted to climb on the wall to climb to the other side there, but whatever. So, th th you know, it's cool that you can go up there and there's a little area you can explore. And they didn't put anything there. It's just there. Hmm. All right, then. Maybe I'll come back here later. To check out the goddess of time. Maybe I'll be sent back in time or sent to the future or something. There's definitely time travel things going on here. I mean, otherwise, why would these things be made of things that are beyond anything uh, that current technology can offer, right? Let me try uh, something. Oh my god, I can actually loot all of these. Ancient screw. Another screw. What about this guy? I just have to be near them. Okay. Another screw. I can't explain how much I like the sounds. It's just... Even the walking, it's so simple, but... It's satisfying sounds. Yeah. Something up there for sure. Also in ruins. Look at that. I can't cut the grass because it's a club. Nice little detail. Okay. Let me loot this guy. Oh my god. I'm going to have to loot all of them. Because I gotta do it. Another spring. I wonder what I can use them for. Maybe I can build my own robot or something. Okay. Dude. This 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 is so much fun actually. I didn't know what to expect from this game, but I knew it was open world. And and that it was Zelda, and that it was very different from previous Zelda games. As far as I know, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? You see it in the air. Is it a cloud? Doesn't no, it's not a cloud, it's something else. It's
It's moving. What the hell is that? I wish I had binoculars or something. Can I actually zoom somehow? Oh. Wow, I hit the exact right button. I can. I have a scope. I was clicking the right thumbstick. Wait, hold on. Uh, where was it again? Shit, I, I lost it. It was behind, it's behind that mountain over there. Oh, I have to get higher. Uh, hold on. Let me get up here. What is the other button then? Oh! Crouching increases your stealth, making it easier to sneak up on foes and animals. Controls overview? Ability controls? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh... Oh! Oh, that's kind of cool, the way they don't reveal everything you can do until you discover it. Backflip? Dodge enemy attacks by flipping backward. Target enemy. Backpedal. Jump. Side hop. Dodge enemy attacks by hopping sideways. Target enemy strafe and... Is that what I did before? Uh, hold on, what was I actually going to do in here? I forgot. I can sneak. There's stealth in this game. That's cool. Where's this goddamn thing I saw? Whoops. I'm slowly getting used to the controls here. Bear with me. Okay, I can't see it anymore. There was something behind that mountain over there just before. Hold on, so hold on. I, there's this. And I, I can even use motion controls with it. It's very, uh... You really use that for a lot here, it seems. It's a little jittery, though, like, when you're just... Trying to keep it steady. Yo. That looks like a huge tower. I want to look at the volcano now. Damn. That looks so goddamn cool. I want to jump into the volcano. Man, these are my favorite trees ever. Cypress trees. I hugged the cypress tree once when I was in Italy. I have a picture of it. I have proof of my love for cypress trees. Anyway, dude, I'm loving this game so far. I can't wait to play more of it. But for now, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to eat some snacks. I'm going to go for a quick stroll. And then I'll be back to play some more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.